Hey everybody, how is it going? I hope you're having a great time. I know I haven't done a YouTube video in quite a while for my Digitronic channel. It's because I needed to take a break from doing videos on YouTube. Uh, I'm hoping to start that back up again this week. This video is going to be about Final Cut Pro X and what it brings to uh, the rest of the applications that used to be on Final Cut Pro uh, Suite or Studio Suite. Uh, myself, I'm interested in Motion, Apple's Motion, one of the applications that used to be in Final, uh, Final Cut Studio 7. I have Final Cut um, Final Cut Express for HD which I bought with my MacBook Pro 13 inch Core i7 laptop a few months ago. Uh, so I don't really need Final Cut Pro X. It looks amazing though, I'm gonna tell you right now. The background rendering, other NLEs have had it for ages. It's awesome to finally have background rendering on Final Cut Pro, even though mine, the Final Cut Express that I have doesn't have it unfortunately but that's not going to be enough reason for me to shell out $299 for another non-linear editing program that's another thing I want to get to $209 uh, $299 for a non-linear editing program is amazing it's an amazing price point nobody can even touch that on the PC side or the Mac side doesn't matter if you want a pro level editing program I'm not talking about the lower than pro like Sony Vegas or um, Camtasia Studio or whatever those are called. Those are good programs too, but I'm talking about pro industry level programs. Adobe uh, Premiere Pro, $799 on the Mac or the PC. Standalone application, Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm not talking about their uh, production suite from Adobe. That's over $1,000 just like Apple's, but higher than Apple's again, because Apple's price is um, something like $9.99 for the whole suite, and Adobe's price for the whole suite is over $1,000. Anyways, $799 from Adobe Premiere Pro, and $299 from Apple's Final Cut Pro. I mean, that's gonna blow Adobe out of the water for, for Mac users. Uh, for people who want to start the pro level at least. For people who've used Adobe for ages on, they may be too accustomed to it by now. Uh, they may just you know, continue on going with their business on Adobe side. That's probably the way it's gonna be. Anyways, let's get back on point. Motion, Apple's motion, that's what I'm interested in. I'm, I'm hoping that Apple will bring a standalone motion application to the app market or um, the Apple Mac App Store. So don't sue me, Apple. <laughs> to the Mac app, uh, app Store. And for around the same price point of $299, I will definitely get it if that happens. I'm interested in making motion graphics and 3D logos and 3D text and all that mumbo jumbo nonsense. Um, After Effects is awesome from Adobe, but at a standalone price of $799, my pockets are saying ouch. And it's not because I have anything big in my pants. Yeah, um, I can't stop repeating this. I would really love a cheap standalone version of motion from Apple. I think it will definitely blow the competition out of the waters. Imagine if you have either like had Adobe or the other editing programs on the Mac and it's getting old now, you want to update, but at the same time you're, you know, looking around to see what other options are available for you and you either have the option the option to upgrade to another version of adobe suite which by the way is a great great application i love adobe suite just the price point here is the my point so expensive or 
you can pay hundreds less even if you buy each application individually from Apple you'll end up paying hundreds less for the Apple collection of the same programs which one are you gonna do you're gonna go the Apple way in this case so please Apple bring a standalone version of motion that program in my opinion it may not be quiet after effects but it still kicks ass and that's what I'm looking forward to this June hopefully this June they will bring a standalone version of motion that's what I need that's what I'm praying for I'm, I'm excited for it even though there's no news of it yet Apple said this is what they said when they previewed Final Cut Pro X they said there is updates in the works for the rest of the suite but that's all they said they didn't say whether they're gonna bring motion and color and all that as individual applications you can purchase at a lower price point around 299 just like Final Cut Pro X or whether they're gonna keep them in a suite at a higher price point nobody knows except for Steve Jobs probably laughing and drinking it up <laughs> no he's getting treatment for his cancer so he won't be drinking anywho thank you for watching this video leave me comments here on my YouTube channel tell me what you think about the Final Cut Pro X and the new version of motion if there is going to be any and what's going to happen with uh, the editing suite from Apple what your opinion is what you see is the future of it I'm definitely excited for motion oh baby baby shake it shake it give me some motion anyways <laughs> apparently people watching my YouTube channels on Digitronic don't like me dancing anywho Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash dgtronic, my YouTube channel right here, subscribe to it, leave me comments. I'm going to try again from this week to do every Friday an app of the week review and every Monday a tech news and views segment on youtube.com slash dgtronic. I will see you in the next <laughs>